Welcome to our presentation, The Importance of a Team Science Approach in Psychological Research, the Psychological Science Accelerator, often referred to as the PSI. It's been said that the lone researcher is now a less viable model for major innovation. Due to this changing landscape, the PSI was established to take a team science approach to psychological science research. In this brief presentation, we hope to introduce you to the PSI, and for those of you who may already be familiar with it, to explain some of our current processes and projects. Our mission at the PSA is to improve large-scale multi-site collaboration. We are a network of psychological scientists who volunteer our research resources to projects which have been selected, implemented, analyzed, and disseminated via democratic processes within our network. Through this, our aim is to make psychological science more reliable and generalizable. In the seminal paper by Henrik Hein and Noren Zayen, published in 2010, they reported that 96% of psychological samples come from countries with just 12% of the world's population. They refer to these samples as weird populations, those who are Western, educated, industrialized, rich, and democratic. This is problematic as we cannot fully understand human behavior from this narrow population. At the PSA, we are focused on creating a diverse and inclusive network. We currently have more than 1,000 members representing more than 70 countries across six continents. Out of the PSA's current and upcoming projects, there are two that fall within the cognitive psychology domain. The first is PSA 002, Object Orientation, led by Sao Chin Chen, which tests the object orientation effect across 16 languages. The purpose of this study is to replicate the object orientation effect across English populations and explore the replication across different writing systems. The study examines perceptual simulation processes across languages by comparing them to mental rotation. Thus, we are able to extract clues that cause the object orientation effect to be absent or present. Although the global pandemic delayed data collection, we now have the opportunity to test the consistency of data collected on site to that collected on the internet. The goal of PSA 007, our newest project, led by Aaron Buchanan, is to create a large multi-language data set of semantic priming complete with other cognitive variables. All are welcome to join either of these projects. There are plenty of potential challenges to this system that we've identified and are working to attenuate. First is the incredible amount of effort it takes to lead a large scale international project, particularly when the network runs on volunteer time and energy. Related to this point is the fact that we lack, currently lack formal funding, which is a challenge we are actively trying to solve. Third, within the network, there are difficulties in navigating cultural and language differences. Fourth, different countries and institutions have different procedures for ethical approval, so it has been a challenge to make sure that we are always meeting all of those requirements. We all also sometimes have to navigate embargoes that could impact data collection in different countries. For example, Qualtrics is a U.S. company and therefore cannot be used in countries that the U.S. actively embargoes. Therefore, if we were collecting data exclusively through one platform, and that platform is U.S.-based, then researchers from that country might not be able to participate. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, we're under no illusion that we have solved the weird problem. We still rely heavily on involvement from Western labs. And this is an area that we are really looking um, to put more energy toward in the years to come. If you're interested in supporting the PSI, there are a number of different ways to get involved. Check out our website and consider becoming a member. Sign up to collect data on a project. This particularly applies to projects 002 and 003, which are still available for data collection. Consider using your expertise on one of our committees. Subscribe to our newsletter or follow us on social media. You can also reach out to any of the co-authors on this presentation. 